What's going on guys and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing Community. In this video, we want to break down in detail the preparation process before either doing any sort of paint correction or applying a ceramic coating on really your average vehicle because this is a subject where there are a lot of opinions and really small things trip professional detailers who are starting up, up a little bit. And so we just want to clear the air and give you guys a really full list of the exact products that we would use and why we would use them so that you guys don't have to wonder about really how to do this. Now in this video you're going to see several different vehicles because all of these have been prepared for paint correction and ceramic coating, but we think that each vehicle highlights a different part of the process really well. Now even though we are talking about the prep process in this video, some of you will be wondering about actual paint correction and ceramic coating application, and while we don't talk about it in this video, below in the YouTube description box we do have a link you can click on and simply put your email in. We will send you a free five-part video series so that even if you have never done paint correction or ceramic coatings and you're a complete beginner after that five-part video series you will be able to not only correct paint and apply ceramic coatings but also sell your customers on it now let's go ahead and get into the prep process we would talk about the tires wheels and wheel wells but we feel like that is pretty obvious here as a first step the very next thing we want to do after we clean the wheels tires and wheel wells is get our car soap and foam soap ready now you can see I'm using a shampoo here from Avalon King the reason I do that is because companies like Avalon King actually do have specific ceramic and paint correction prep soaps. So you saw I poured it not only in my agitation bucket, but also in my foam cannon here. The reason why I'm showing you guys a couple different instances of me doing this is simply because when you are preparing the paint, one of the questions to ask is, is there a specific type of soap that might be better than the others? Of course, this is one of those common things that again, trips beginners up. And the reason we want to talk about it is this. If you go on the market and try to find a bunch of different foam cannon soaps or agitation wash soaps, you're going to find washes and waxes and things that leave protective barriers, all that sort of stuff. What we want is a soap that prepares the paint in a very specific way. It leaves no wax. It leaves no unnecessary solvents behind. It leaves no protection on the paint. We want a soap that is going to essentially, what I would say is strip the paint bare naked so that when we are finished with the wash, we don't have to go in and kind of technically remove some sort of protective barrier or wax. If we are preparing the paint to correct it or to put a ceramic coating on it. In the prep process, we are essentially stripping away layers of the paint until it's totally bare by the end of it. So that's why we're using this Avalon King shampoo in this video specifically. And you can also see kind of a couple different instances here of just kind of how it works in a foam cannon. Also, of course, how it works in an agitation wash as well. It's very versatile. And so that's part of uh, maybe another reason why we might use it when we're preparing paint or wanting to coat paint as well. The other thing that we kind of naturally have to think about with a foam cannon soap and the reason why I'm showing you a few different instances of the specific one we're talking about here on different vehicles is because some foam cannon soaps just don't lay very well on the paint. They don't really pull a lot off the paint. So you can see there's a lot of suds, a lot of foam when we use this ceramic prep shampoo. And of course, we also use their ceramic maintenance shampoo afterwards. Now, after we move from the shampooing, let's say foam cannon and agitation wash stage, and while we're not necessarily showing an agitation wash, we kind of assume you guys understand that that's kind of a given. We move to the iron decontamination stage. Now the particular iron decontamination product I'm using in this video is not actually the one I generally use. I just pulled this one out of the cabinet and I had some left over. Generally speaking, I use a paint prep from Optimum. I like their iron decontaminant and I also like the Renegade iron remover when I'm trying to get a lot for a little. I can buy it in a gallon size. Generally speaking, the Optimum decon is something I might even buy for my customers because they are car enthusiasts or something like that whereas the Renegade is actually something that I keep on hand in stock in my cabinets when I need to use it myself. Once again, when you're a professional detailer and you go through a lot of product, you're really looking at things you can use in a gallon size. Okay, so we've talked about wheels, tires, and wheel wells. We've talked about foam wash. We've talked about agitation wash. We've talked about iron decontamination. Now we're moving on to the bug detail. Yes, this is something we do when we are preparing paint. One of the things I do in a bug detail, and you see me using Meguiar's APC 10 to 1 here with a detailing brush, one of the things I'll do is keep actually my foam bucket full of my soap. So my uh, Avalon King soap that's in my kind of five gallon bucket that I already used for my agitation wash. I will make sure that I'm using whatever mitt that I'm using to pull the bugs off or detail brush and I soak it in that soap as well to give it a little bit more lubricity and just to make sure that it's got a little bit more cleaning power as well. Now, finally, when we've done all of that, you can either move to making sure that the door jams are clean, which I'll do sometimes depending on what we're going to do to the paint later 
on, or we move to the clay barring phase. Now, I'm using a simple solution of one capful of Optimum No Rinse with distilled water filled up in that 32 ounce spray bottle, and my clay bar from Meguiar's. This is just their fine clay bar. This is probably one of the simplest parts of the entire prep process. I'm just making sure that all of the glass, the painted surfaces, and really any hard chrome surfaces as well, things like headlights and taillights are completely clayed. And one of the misconceptions you hear about this all the time is don't be too rough with your clay bar because you're going to micro abrade the paint. And the fact of it is, if we're doing paint correction and ceramic coating application after this, it is completely case by case and it depends on the previous paint condition before you ever saw the car as to whether or not we should introduce a lot of caution when we are claying the paint. This is yet another reason why I would say you guys need to go below and grab that free five part video series because we dispel a lot of the myths and the confusing things in the detailing industry regarding preparation, correction, and application of ceramic coatings. Now finally, we are moving to the paint prep stage, and I know that's confusing because we called this whole process paint prep, but this is where we actually use a product that is labeled a paint prep that is essentially going to pull off all the waxes, greases, and oils that might be left over or solvents from any of the product we've used previously on the paint, and this is going to strip it completely, completely bare. This is once again what I like to buy in a gallon size from Meguiar's. It is just their paint prep, and in certain cases, we might use other products, but that's really our standard product that we use before we do any correction. Now, guys, make sure to go below in the YouTube description box, because like I said, not only do we have that free five-part video series for you, but there is also a sale and discount for one of the products we talked about here just to celebrate Labor Day with you guys here in the YouTube Wilson Auto Detailing community. So go below in the YouTube description box to find out which product that is and what kind of sale to celebrate Labor Day is going on right now. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, and we will see you in the next video.